there's no phone. I mean, did you get to take a cell phone? No. There were no, we didn't have cell phones uh, over there back then. I mean, some folks did, but they were, they were stationed in different places than I was in Iraq. Um, no, what I had was, uh, was uh, cards, you know, like the, the, I remember, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but yeah, I would have a card that, that you could load money on. And, uh, and then you would, and, but it took so long just to get a line out was took forever. And, and then, you know, you never knew when the call was just going to drop. My mother set up a 1-800 number for her landline oh. so that I could just call a 1-800 number from downrange and it would ring at her house. <laughs> she oh was, my gosh, that's amazing. I can see doing probably... that. I can see doing that. <laughs> it's, you're her baby. She's like, wait a minute. <laughs> we'll go to any lengths to talk to you guys. That's amazing. And so, I, because you think, I mean, at least in movies, right? They say people enlist because they want to support America. But the reality is you don't always have that choice of being able to do whatever you want to do. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't get me wrong. Uh, patriotism was no small part of, of my identity. It was just, um, but, but I think that, you know, you're only there for five minutes before you realize that, that, that the reason that you get up every day, uh, the reason that you go on the re what drove me, I was in, I was in combat for 15 months. Uh, the, the, the thing that, the thing that makes you keep going is uh really your sense of loyalty and duty to your unit and to the people that you're with and uh you care about them and you want them to be safe and you want to do anything you can to keep them safe and they feel the same way about you and so and so that really i mean they all say it in the movies it's 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 almost cliche but it's one of those cliches that really are true i feel the same thing about i feel the same thing about one day at a time like uh yeah it's a cliche and it's exactly how i live my life yeah, 15 months. Wow. Wow. Was it? And that's when you really started to drink. So, yeah, I, you know, before I left for Iraq, it was so common for me to have, you know, I, I would drink, but but it wasn't a part of my life. I would, uh, I remember regularly, I would have a six pack of beer that would just stay in my refrigerator forever. Like, I, I mean, months, I, I just, you know, I, I didn't care much for it. Just once in a while, I'd, I'd want, and I almost never finished the whole beer, you know, I just kind of have it after dinner or something once in a while. Um, but I had no desire to drink a lot. It just didn't occur to me. Never had more than one in a sitting, you know. Um, and it was, it was like the day I got home from Iraq. 